This video guide gives you an easy step-by-step -step instructional guide on how to use your kernel multi-check meter. Inside the box you will find a full instruction book, quick start guide and a logbook in which you can record all your readings. There will also be the lancing device and lancelets, which is the tool you use to get your blood, the glucose and uric acid test strips in a tub along with the test chip, and if you've ordered the cholesterol testing strips you will also receive them. These are all colour coded on both the test strips and chip. You will also receive your meter and batteries. The meter is easy to use but can be daunting at first. Once you have used it a few times it becomes easy. Before starting please ensure you read the instruction book thoroughly. Once you have done this the first thing you need to do is insert the batteries. The meter will turn on automatically and you should then set the date and time. Starting with the month, press the S button until you have the right date. Then press the M button to move on to the year. Repeat this step through the hour and minutes. Once you have done this, do not press the M button again. Instead, wait 30 seconds for the meter to turn off automatically. Next, you need to set the lancing device. This is very simple. First, you unscrew the top cap and insert the blue lancing capsule by holding onto the top part of the lancing device and pushing until the capsule is fully engaged. Then hold onto the capsule and spin the protective cover at the top to remove it. Screw the top cap back on and then choose the depth of penetration you require. There are five settings. We have experienced that depth 5 gives the best results, however you should feel free to experiment and see what works best for you. Once you've chosen the depth, you can set the lancing device by pulling the bottom part and holding onto the top part until you hear a click and then releasing. You then need to prepare the meter. First of all, open the tub and remove a testing strip and the chip. Make sure you put the top straight back on the tub as this helps to preserve the life of the strips. Check the code on the chip corresponds with the number on the tub before inserting the chip into the back of the meter. To then start the meter, insert the test strip into the top of the meter with the coloured side of the strip up. Once it is inserted fully, the meter will first display the code number, then the blood symbol along with the date. To get the blood, you first need to clean your finger with an alcohol swab. You can use any finger for this test and we recommend that if you test regularly to alternate the finger you use. Once your finger has dried from the swab, you can then take the test. Before you prick your finger, shake your hand to get the blood to the end of your finger. Then gently massage it so it goes a nice bright red. Put the end of the lancing device on the tip of your finger and push down. Then press the blue button to release the point. Once you have done this, squeeze your finger until you've got a sizeable dollop of blood. We have discovered that the important thing for this test is that you must get enough blood in. If you don't, you may get false readings. Once you have the blood blob at the end of the finger, you then touch the blob to the strip, with the orange side facing upward and beside the arrow on the thin edge. The blood gets sucked in and the meter then bleeps to say it is reading. It is important that once you have taken the test, you should ensure that there is still blood left on the end of your finger. That way you know that there is enough of a sample in the strip. The meter then counts down to reveal your reading. Remember to check the instruction booklet for a full explanation of what your reading means. Once you have completed the test, it is very important that you dispose of the waste carefully, placing the protective top back on the lancet capsule before discarding it in an appropriate container with a lid. To switch the meter off, simply remove the test strip and dispose of it. The process is the same for whichever test you choose to take. Simply make sure you place the appropriate chip in the machine and use the matching strips. Record the reading in the logbook to keep track of your progress. The meter automatically keeps track of the last 100 tests you do, however it is always good to keep your own record as well. Once you have finished, pack everything back into its convenient storage case ready for the next use. The amount of times you take these tests is personal to you. Many people take the test regularly until they build up a pattern and then they take the test occasionally. Of course if you can feel an attack of gout coming on, then take the test to check your uric acid level. We hope you have found this brief guide useful. If you require any further information, please do not hesitate to contact us on 02920 515 445 or by visiting www.goutcare.co.uk and clicking on the uric acid meter link.